What's going on, everybody? I'm YouTube's ProBJN. Welcome back to This Is The Police. We are on day 28. Because apparently that's 28 right there. Um, <laughs> let's read the headlines. Toilet stolen from City Hall. Who stole my pooper? Who stole my pooper? Uh, zoo animals starving. Mayor Rogers, I will bring order to the police station. Yeah, look, we, we seem to just have a lot of casualties at the moment. And somebody pointed out to me in the colors, they're just like, this smells suspiciously like Dr. Death. Oh, here we go. Uh, this is for the protest that happened in the last episode. Uh, Mr. Boyd, how do you feel about the black rights movement? I support it. All men are created equal and blacks are no exception. Why did you send your officers uh, to the rally? You can't protest near City Hall. By law, they had to find another place to protest. I simply followed the law. Do you think that participants at the peaceful rally pose a threat to others? Uh, it's hard to say. In such a large crowd, there might be a couple of bad apples. Who knows? In recent weeks, large-scale protests have rocked Freeburg. First feminists marched in Desiree Park, and today the blacks gathered outside City Hall. What do you think the reason is for there being such a, such civ <laughs> civic activism in the city? Um, I say it's the new generation. Today's youth don't want to wait for Freeburg's conservation leadership to cha to catch up. They want to make things happen right now. Mr. Boyd, are any of your friends black? Yes. I have a few black friends. One of them is a federal agent. Mr. Boyd, did you give the order to suppress the riot by force? I'm blaming City Hall. The mayor gave me clear written instructions. I was only following my orders. Fuck the mayor. I'm covering my own ass because I'm about to retire. All right. Uh, that was one day. Drunk students fall from 5th floor window injured this fall. Record rainfall in Freiburg. Accident at, at the reservoir. Water runs out in, in two days. Alright. Jack! You need to get yourself a better car, man. I say that every time. I drank too much. I don't think I can hold it together today. Can I go home? Yeah. Stripes. Well, you won't be getting no stripes. Um, Hatton, you get stripes today. I like it. What do we got going? Oh, paperwork. We get cutscene. We don't usually get cutscenes anymore. You know when a police chief really feels his power? When he hires and fires people? Yeah. When he throws folks in jail? When he's bossing everyone around all morning? No. There's no power there. Okay. Just bureaucratic red tape. Like directing traffic. Not that it's all bad. No. I feel it the most when people come to me with accusations. That valid? Valid? Accusations happen outside the law. They don't need to be rational or supported by evidence. They don't petition justice in the careful words of legal... That's a lot quality. of fucking paperwork. No, an accusation is a personal cry. Full of resentment or envy. A defeated moan. Or an angry how Okay. The accuser rarely imagines you'll share their resentment, their envy, their hatred. No, but they do imagine that your love of power is so strong that you'll leap to decide the fates of others. Happy just to take someone's word for the fact. Okay. Businessmen accuse the gangsters. The gangsters blame our public figures. Public figures denounce politicians. The politicians point to the businessmen. All right. When it comes to accusation, there's only one rule. Don't aim too high. Okay, good rule, good rule. If you overestimate your own importance, then complaining can cost you your life. Shit. So choose the easier path. Exaggerate as far as you can. And try to make your plea sound as sad and pathetic as possible. <laughs> okay. Are we ever going to find out what happened to our wife? Because that was another thing. The accusation I received today sure didn't fit the normal mold. Ooh, what did the accusation say? After killing Vickis Varga and routing his supporters, 
Sand further strengthened his already powerful authority. Okay. Even a month ago, anyone coming out against Sand would sound like a lunatic with a death wish. Today, it's the same thing as suicide. Shit. But the letter I'm holding in my hands directly connects Henry Sand, lieutenant of the Sand Mafia family, to the reported death of successful banker John Potsy. Who's John Potsy? Henry has a daughter, Marianne, a dancer. And apparently it all started with her. Okay. One day, Marianne danced in the title role of a production of Giselle. And Henry, proud father that he is, brought the whole family oh, good to man. the premiere, along with some of the family's business good man. partners. Among their guests was the young banker John Potts. All right. He couldn't keep his eyes off Marianne, but she ended up brushing him off. And? In response, Patsy ambushed her one night after rehearsal, pulled her into his limousine, and had his Ooh, way Ooh, no. After that, gentleman that he was, he drove the girl home and threatened that if she told anyone what happened, her mother would get the same treatment. This guy's fucked up! But her father still managed to shake the truth out of Marianne, and he decided to take his revenge. Of course, Henry knew he couldn't just go with his instincts and put a bullet in Patsy in broad daylight. The rich bastard was too important for yeah. business. And Henry is neck deep in the family business, overseeing transportations for the San Mafia. He knew about every delivery delay, every car, and every wow. shop. It was mostly thanks to Henry that the whole sand operation rolls so smoothly. Henry has free access to all their off-book cars and a tar black motive. Yeah. Well, that's fucked. Why would you do that to yeah, your boss's daughter? Drunken late night hit and run. But Henry Sand is smarter than that. If this story about Potsy is true, he'd more likely go to the boss and ask permission. Ooh. I'd have figured this letter the ramblings of a retired gangster looking to spice up his life with little. So, what are the accusations? That I was part of it. Started. My dear little old cop cake. I had every mind to toss it in the trash. But something else got my attention. They're rarely ever signed. Oh! Robespierre. Robespierre. Out it's an imposter. No one would go against the most powerful group in the city, hoping to hide behind the name of some prankster clown. All right. Like everyone else, I had no idea who Robespierre was or what he wanted. But there was no doubt that this guy was more than a little crazy. That's another thing. We need to find out who Robespierre is. Dangerous. Definitely worth looking into. Okay. Well, let's do that then. If we can. Let's go with... Well, sing me a song, you're the piano man. Sing me a song tonight. Play the fucking record. There we go. Here we are. Please be advised that we are unhappy with the efficiency of the Freeburg PD. We're cutting the department's budget. Fuck. Oh no. Oh. Oh no, the funerals. Fitzsimmons was a hero. Grant. Stop with your crime! I'm in mourning! It's Duvall. It's Duvall I'm gonna miss most. He was a brave man. Van Dahl. A wonderful officer. A close companion. He treated me like a princess. Samadhi. Not, not so much, but still a good officer. Alright, let's, let's get back to work! A robbery of the Freeburg Bank. Three armed robbers wearing masks entered the bank and demanded the manager open the safe. Alright, we'll send two of you and we'll send SWAT. Should be good enough. Hopefully. Oh. Do we not have enough? Oh, we don't. We have no fucking detectives on this now. Oops. Um... Is there a possibility for me to hire somebody else? Because I need more for shift A. I need more people. Shift A. 
Shift A. Good. Okay. Well, I can't. I can't do that because I don't have any car. Uh, any um, detectives. Assault. A young woman frightened to death just called from her trade from the trade union. A drunken factory worker broke into the building. Same man. Blah 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 blah. All right, Huskin. Don't get shot. Please. The bank is located in the city center, where there's lots of traffic and civilians. Uh. Block the exit. A woman's shouts can be heard from inside the bank. Get on the boy horn. Fuck! God damn it! What the hell? I'm cursed! I'm fucking cursed! Every single time! Like, the last three, four episodes in a row! The situation's more serious than before! I can't give you- Just fucking retreat! That was terrible, no! Ah! Another armed robbery? Oh, this is a uh, bullshit! I feel like they're all gonna fucking die again now. What's the assault? I can't do anything, but what's the assault? Alright, it's just fear to people. Oh, please don't fucking die. Please. Don't die. Situation's more serious. Yeah, we treat. I don't want to risk it. Yep, civilian killed. Oh, no, no, no. This is bad. See what happens when everybody dies on me? <laughs> I don't have enough people to be able to fucking do this now. I don't have enough people to... Uh, the, re the reception at City Hall doesn't have... May urgently request uniforms. I can't. I can't. I don't have enough manpower to be able to do that. And unfortunately, both of these cops are going to have to work together for every single mission. Which sucks. Because I don't, I don't, I, I just don't have the people to be able to fucking handle all of this now. Which is, which really sucks. But, uh, that's how it goes. The fight report. Offender escaped, officers unharmed. We're not doing good. We're really not doing good. Thank God I hired new people. Hopefully they fucking show up though. I've hired like really shit people, unfortunately. Because that's all the money I've had. Civilian killed. Great. Got a homicide. Please don't die. There's too much death been happening in the last two, three episodes, and I don't like it. And now we've already, we lost someone within like a fucking minute of starting. Which I don't like. I really don't like it. Homicide report. They're all dead! What the fuck is happening? What the hell? I can't do anything else now! What the fuck? I don't understand! The fucking hit and run. What the hell? This is a fucking nightmare! Are you kidding me? What's happening now? What? What the hell? Who are you? Oh, 
Jack, you always ah, come Sally. so late. What's wrong? Bad news? Good news, Jack. Laura is <gasps> ready. Ready how? She's coming back? When? Not that fast, Jack. Laura's ready to Aww. talk. But if she's ready to talk, she's getting ready to come back. You just need to find the right words. Aww. You can find the right words, right, Jack? I'm not an idiot. I can find the right words. I didn't ask for this, Jack. It's the middle of the night, and I'm alone on an old farm, 40 minutes away from anywhere, sat on a creaky porch, and now I'm getting snapped at. Hey, 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 no one's snapping. It's fine. personally promise me that you'll be able to find the right words. So let's try again. You can find the right words, right, Jack? I can find the right words, Mrs. Mark. I can find them. That's good to hear. Tomorrow night at 3 o'clock at the Octopus Restaurant. You know it? Yeah. Yeah, but it's closed at night. Oh, I've arranged for them to be Aww. late. Don't be late. But don't come too early. Either. Okay. Oh, what a lovely lady. Mrs. Markham. Hopefully, I can get her to return. I probably offer you some tea or something before you go. <laughs> Do you have any tea? No. No. <laughs> Good night, Jack. God, all of my officers are dying, and I don't like it. Day 30, August 13th. Alright, one more day and then we'll uh, wrap up. Biannual report, more deaths than births in Freeburg. Red cat rescues, girl from rapist, Debbie's cafe charged with health and safety violations. I'm not enjoying this now because I feel terrible every time I play this. Honest to God. All right, everybody's here today. Good. Boogie fever, boogie fever. All right. Hopefully today will be a bit more productive. Please be advised that we are not happy with the efficiency. We're cutting the department's budget. Fuck. Well, I need to get rid of price then. Funeral for coat. <sighs> There's too many funerals. I don't like it. All right, you should be fine. Retiree Manny Versch called in a report of a fight between a little girl's father and dog lover who's blah, 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 blah. Wrote will I have frightened the child. While the men were busy settling matters, the dog was spotted running towards the amusement park. Okay, McNally and Austin, please get in there. Do us proud. Can I still use Price for today? I think I can. I think I can. I can use Price um, up until the end of today, and then I think that'll be it, and we have to get we have to let him go. Fender court officers unharmed. Good. Unlawful assembly. It seems City Hall is, unha is an unhappy target of a spontaneous demonstration. Some 20 people have gathered in protest against the increasing garbage tax. The protesters are behaving peacefully, but are demanding to speak to city officials. Okay, what? What do you. What? How's that a crime in progress? I'll just send two people on a paddy wagon. If you're so scared. It doesn't seem like it needs any police force there. If it, if they're being peaceful, then why- SHUT UP PHONE! I got bigger problems on here. We got robbery. Tiffany Lee, while visiting a local mall, encountered the hooded man who grabbed her expensive bag and bolted. She immediately called the police. Isn't the, isn't the mall safe anymore? That man must still be in the building. Please hurry. Uh, yes, yes, and... Go price. All right. Here we go. We've got offenders caught, officers unharmed. Good. Really don't know why we needed to do that. If they if they were being peaceful, then what was the point of doing that? But hey, that's just me. The offender attempted to escape them all, but guards blocked the door. He turned and fled back inside, looking for another way out. Somebody stopped the thief. The offender ran into the skating rink, then slipped and fell on the ice. As he struggled to regain his footing, he pulled out a knife. 
Uh, use pepper spray on him. Oh, no one. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I was like, oh no, people are gonna die. Counterfeiting. A woman put up a tent in the park and is inviting everybody to come buy a new highly profitable currency, which will raise which will rise 10 times in value over the next weeks. Uh, a long line has already started forming and people are starting to push and curse at each other. Asano, Yancey, and Austin, please get on that. Okie dokie. Lemon Smokey. It's a rain man. Hallelujah, it's rain man. The situation is more serious than we thought. Okay. Let's send in these two as well. We're sending their backup. All right, we got theft, a buff, a bu 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 a buff, yeah, a buff fest, a bus theft. Frank Conroy's wallet was stolen at a bus. He quickly noticed the loss that he's hunting and pickpocketing uh, with his friends. The group is blaming everyone in sight. The situation is becoming quickly escalated. The matter will soon come to blows. Okay, let's get these two in there. Sort it out peacefully. There we go. Everybody is okay. Nobody died. Thank God. Oh, we've got some money. No, we'll bring that to the police station. That can be for us. Why, why would you get the mob to sell money? It doesn't make sense. Disorderly conduct. Man kept at the hospital with a large dog. The dog was on a weed and wearing its muzzle. But it was growling and jumped on other patients. The dusty nurse warned the man that it was against hospital policy to bring animals into the building. The man just snarled at her and refused to listen. Okay, what's that? You, Yancey. Oh, just you. Okay. He should be able to do. He's, he's the best cop that we've ever had on the force here. We've got a theft report here. Offender escaped, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Okay. Well, you did your best, fellas. You did your best. What we got? Mass riot. Approximately 100 people have gathered in the park to protest the construction of a new casino near the cemetery. Soon after, the group pick of pickup trucks pulled up and several strong men climbed out. Without saying a word, they began to fight with the demonstrators. Okay, McNally, Austin, uh, yeah, Yancey, and the paddy wagon can go in. I think so, I think. Me think so, that's a good idea. Disorderly conduct report. Fender court officer unharmed. Good on you, mate. Hopefully this protest, we can, uh, hopefully get that very quickly under wraps. Officer. Oh, the fight is in full swing and someone is carrying weapons. Uh... Shoot in the air. Fender court officers unharmed. Thank God. Thank God. I haven't I haven't killed anyone so far this this uh, this shift. Thank God. Touch touch wood. An assault. A young DJ upon exiting the store ran into a strange looking man wearing black and red robe. First man knocked his energy drink from the DJ's hand and told him the merits of dr of drinking human blood. His demeanor became threatening and demanded money for protection from the forces of darkness. A fight between two men erupted, during which Dive suffered massive several bites. The attacker then began to accost other parts of Bai, including a frightened group of teenagers, and then sunk his teeth into an elderly woman. The fuck is wrong with this guy? Alright, um, let's send in you and Austin. Good, good, good. Good. Think we made the right decision there. Think we're doing all right. Theft report. Ooh. No new frames were found. I don't know how to do this. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want to take the time to read it, to be quite honest. 
All right, the assault report. What do we got? Defend the court. Officers unharmed. Good. Is that it? Are we good? All right, we're good. Nice, nice. Everybody. Oh, God. Tomorrow's going to be fucking shit. Good God. Here we go. According to Mrs. Markham, I was supposed to spend all day thinking up the right yes. words. But to my surprise, I did my best work when I shut my head off. Okay. I didn't even want to think why Laura decided we'd meet at 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> and in a restaurant we'd never gone to. I didn't know what to tell her. And what what would you say? No like, honestly, what would you say? I am. By nightfall, I finally stopped worrying. The right words would come when they were needed. And if they don't come at all, then so be it. Exactly. Can't worry about stuff that you you can't really change. No no use dwelling on stuff that you, you probably can't change anyway. I love the art style of this game. I really do. Whoa! Whoa! I just got knocked the fuck out! I've heard said, when you're knocked out by a single blow, you don't have time to feel any pain. <laughs> well, that's a lie. It's painful as hell. Every day I spent in that coma, the pain was unbearable. Jesus. That's fucked up. Whoa, what? Wild Corruptionist. Game A? What the fuck? Okay. What the fuck was that? Day 55? Jesus! I just said day 55! Oh my god. Ow. Fuck. Hi? Anybody? Nobody? Somebody? Day 56, September 8th. Yeah, I heard about that already. But what if they decide to spill it to the papers? We need to start thinking now about covering our asses. What? I know people who can deal with this, but they'll need at least a week. Plus, if we wanted... Lieutenant Stat, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have Jack Boyd on the line. Yeah? Who? Jack Boyd, sir. He's calling from the hospital. <laughs> <sighs> Gibson, I'll call you back. Don't do anything without my team. Jack, well, wow. I didn't know you were awake. I only just woke up. be in that coma for months, even years. How are you feeling? Tell me who's in control, Martin. Who is in control? I don't think I follow you. For God's sake, Martin, tell me it's you running the department and not some stooge from the mayor's no, office. No, it's not him. Uh, yes, Jack. I oh, thank God. Thank the God. The police chief, but the new man's coming on Saturday. Kevin Paulson. He... Kevin Paulson? Yes. It's the guy from the... I know who Kevin Paulson is. Now listen carefully, Martin. I'm coming back to work. I'm Freeburg's police yep. chief. And it's going to stay that way for another four months. Now you get on the phone and do whatever needs to be done. You run into any problems, threaten them with the media, court, or blackmail. Okay. But I don't think they'll give you any trouble. The mayor knows it's easier to just wait until the winter than deal with a scam. Exactly. Oh, and assemble a press conference. Listen, Jack, I know the truth is on your side, but you have to take into account... Martin, how long since you transferred to my department? Uh... Coming up on five years now. Okay. How many times in the last five years have you come to my birthday party? Ooh. How many times have you come to the farm when I had the boys Ooh. over? Uh, never had the pleasure, but... Never. Because you couldn't care less. And I don't care for you either, Stan. Aww. It wasn't me who appointed you deputy, and uh, you wouldn't have been my first choice. But if you do ever come over to my house, you won't miss the big hole in my backyard garbage pit you know for old rubbish a all right hole filled with rotten furniture and other crap so stat if i even for a moment 
doubt your devotion, you'll go straight into that pile of trash. <laughs> okay. Catch up with Crystal clear. Friends. You remember Kendrick, don't you? I'll schedule the press conference for tomorrow. All right, Jack. Thank you. The day after tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going shopping. Oh, shopping day. <laughs> day 57. Well, I got a new car. Yes, Jack. Yes, Jack. New clothes. New hairstyle. New attitude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good on you, Jack. Good morning. How can I help you? Um... Uh... I can get everything I need myself? Oh. Oh. I get to choose. Go with the greens. Yes. Go with the greens. Good on you, Jack. No, that would be too much. What? How dare you, Jack? You just wasted five hundred dollars. Day fifty-eight. I'm so happy for him. That's what I've wanted for him for ages. It's exactly what I wanted for him. Jack, what's with the outfit? You planning on the pit in the backyard, Martin? Always remember about the pit <laughs> in the backyard. Don't talk to anyone before the press conference starts. I'll try to get you on stage quickly. Kevin Paulson is here. Oh, uh, yuck. Him. Jack, I hardly recognize yuck. you. Yuck. That's quite an image for a man like you. An old dog with a new trick, right? We should see each other more often. How long has it been? Last time I saw you, I fired you. Ooh. <laughs> You mean the day I resigned in protest over the corruption and lawlessness at your police department, right? Yeah, repeat that shit often enough, someday you might start believing it. You know, Jack, I'm glad that everything turned out so well. Unlike you, I've made good use of the past seven years. Oh, excuse me? The construction company keeps getting jobs from the city, and we're doing really well. I have a new house, new hobbies, even a new wife. Maybe you've met her, Shelly Rogers. Shelly Rogers. Oh, Shelly Rogers. So you really are in bed with There we go. Isn't that like the mayor's receptionist or assistant or something? All my dreams have come true. Only one thing remains. To bring order to the Freeburg Police Department. <laughs> you being serious, Kevin? I'm serious as ever, Jack. I'm the most serious man you know. Okay. It's not often you see the past and the future of Freeburg Police Chiefs at the same press conference. <laughs> I hope you have time to talk, Kevin. There's something we need to discuss. Ah, oh, Rogers. Jack, the reporters are waiting for you. Thanks, dipshit. All right, what are we going to say? What are we going to say? My retirement plan somehow just got turned into a circus. Fortunately, I'm pretty good at swallowing swords and jumping through burning hoops. They all seem to like it. Okay. Good morning. Mr. Boyd, is that a new hairstyle? Yes. I feel like a different person, so I figured I should look like one too. Do you know the person who attacked you? No. I didn't recognize him. City Hall has yet to give a definitive answer as to whether you will be returning to your post. Do you believe Rogers will decide in your favor? Doesn't matter what he says. I'm the police chief, and he can damn well get used to it. Do you think what happened to you somehow affected you? We'll see. Well, I guess let's uh, find out. Thank you. All right, day 59. All right, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm getting very, very, very pumped for this again because I feel like it's a, it's coming to that resolution. We've got the new car, we've got the new look, 
Everything's starting to click for Jack. Not so much for the Freeburg PD, we've still got a lot of death. But, um, hey, it's all gonna start clicking from now on, hopefully. Um, and just before I go, I just want to say this episode of This Is The Police was sponsored by Razor. So thank you so much to them. If you guys click the link in the description box, you'll go over to the Razor website. And if you sign up for their, their mailing list, you get $15 off of whatever you purchase. So make sure you guys go do that. It's a wonderful opportunity and it's a very limited time promotion that they're doing with me. So thank you to Razor for sponsoring this episode of This Is The Police. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social media in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the Propy JM merch store down below. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's Propy JN. Peace out. I want you on your knees I want you on your knees you will